What is this for? What? <laughs> That's what I meant. It's of course I know what it's for. You just scared the shit out of me by saying that. That's why we can't talk. You wore white and I wore white. Oh, yeah. Oh, we didn't plan that. So we're doing a little Q&A about Sin Fronteras, our short film that we produced and starred in and created. And we just kind of got done talking about how we've been excited about coming up with something new to work on together. Our initial goal was to possibly turn this into a series or another movie. Now, time has passed and then the world just kind of completely turned upside down. So I know. a multitude of reasons of why we haven't been able to move forward yet. So one of the questions that we got was, how long did it take to make the film? I have the answer. Let's see if you remember how many days it was. I have the exact answer down to the amount of scenes and shots. Thanks to Rick. <laughs> if you watch a short film, you have no idea. Did it take three months? Did it take an entire year? Just because it's a short doesn't mean it was Are short. We okay, it took four days. There were 18 scenes, 56 shots, and 114 takes. Isn't that cool? Wow. I remember I was kind of fired up. Let's make a movie. And you had just had your baby and you're like, what? I just had my baby. She wants to make a movie. And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. And so now you're kind of firing me up. And you've had two kids because I'm newly married, as you know. And I'm thinking, well, I want kids too. My birthday's tomorrow. I'm 33. I know your birthday's tomorrow. I love you. Happy <laughs> birthday. <laughs> 30. And that's a good number. And can you do it both? And I had to think about it. And I'm like, well, my best friend did. We did. She had a baby. We made it happen. There's no reason that we can't make this happen because of just pigeonholing yourself into one area. I only have to be X. I only have to do this. I, I was literally in this room, probably feeding my son. I was probably feeding him. I know for sure I was holding him and you're like, do you want to make this movie? And I'm like, okay. And this beautiful baby, how am I going to fly across the country and make a movie right now? But we did it. We absolutely did it. Taking a little bit of a hiatus and then seeing this again, it just gets that itch. And I, and I don't think as a performer, whether you're an actress or you're a producer or you're a writer or you're a director, once that is in you, it is always in you. Once you have that creative and artistic edge to you, it just doesn't die. It's yeah, there. Definitely doesn't and die. it's, it's, you know, you can put it to sleep for a little bit, but eventually it's going to want to wake back up and it's going to want some attention. And I feel like that part of me now with you bringing this back is like, yeah, we should, there's something, there's something left there. What, what is it? There's definitely more stuff I feel in the works for me and you. Um, mm -hmm. I do. I feel that in my gut. Yeah. And even though so much has changed that I'm back, we used to be in California together. We are no longer in California together. We have split ways and she is married and in Florida, and I'm in New York with two babies, but there's something that we're supposed to still be doing. I can feel it in my heart. And I just- And I feel it too, so much. I don't know, so I know what that is yet though, that's the thing. I think every performer and entertainer, and I know you had it too, you're, it's like a love-hate relationship with the business, right? Yeah. Like, I, I know that in your times of Obama girl, it was super crazy, super chaotic in terms of being busy, having a lot of press, a lot of attention, being really successful at that time. And then you have a little bit of a lull period and then you speed back up, lull. That happened with me with the last descent and then things slow down and then you get discouraged. I know I did. I got discouraged and I'm like, I hate this business. I love the craft, but I hate it. And then I, I I've been thinking about it recently and I'm like, but you shouldn't because this, like, life is so complex. And we're in a day and an age where we can create our own content like we did. And we can make our own stuff. People are like, I want to see more. And we're saying, okay, you want to see more? That's great. We're, we're willing to do that. And I was thinking my current 
uh, like what I was going to say current, that sounds terrible. My first and last husband, <laughs> my current husband, <laughs> my, current husband. <laughs> my, hi, my honey, I'm a newlywed and I'm just so smitten. No, he is such an angel, but he would play the perfect. He would be the perfect Senator. Wait, Bernard said, is that barn girl? <laughs> <laughs> He, he it's a barn girl. Barn girl barn one and two. He said I think I was pretty. Oh, yes, she thank is. You. She's beautiful inside and out. Oh, as are you. That's why you're my best buddy. You know, I think it's so cool. And I'm just going to say it again for those of you I that know. don't know our story is that we met in New York shoe modeling. And this was at the time of Amber's Obama girl. And I was just like, oh my gosh, she's so cool. I was asking Amber all these questions because I'm like, oh yeah, like I want to be like her. She's kind of fly. <laughs> Little did I know. And I would, our agents kept booking us. And I think it's because she was brunette and I was blonde. And then all of a sudden I run into her in um, California and we're living on the same street for a year. We exchanged numbers, didn't call each other. Remember. Did not call each other for whatever reason. Either one of us only stored it or I don't, I forget how it worked. It's and, probably uh, my fault. Probably, because that sounds like your type of thing. <laughs> and for, she, I, I forget or I delete things or I throw yeah. things out the window. No, okay. At acting class, that's when we found out that we were on the same street, right? Was it mm -hmm. at Michelle Dan? Yes. Yes. And then I was like, you got to come see my coach who she has uh, since passed away. And we ended up going to the same acting class and being partners. We actually have a scene on YouTube, <laughs> but we had the best times ever. And granted, I remember you said you wanted to jump off the balcony because you had so many lines to remember. <laughs> okay. So first of all, that was the hardest acting class that I had ever been in because I wasn't used to doing anything like that before in my life it was so the best class I've ever been in in my entire life that's a fact that's a fact that is something special that we will always share it was the best time it pushed you so hard and our coach had a way of pulling the talent out of you like no one else like she no didn't put up with any shit she would call you out like that neither hit either liked it or you didn't like it but she knew what real talent was. And that was the biggest gift that we had. She's the only reason we're talking about Marta Dubois, rest in peace. Uh, she's the only reason why I'm still acting. Honestly. Really? Wow. And I could get, I could get upset about it. And I don't want to. I know. I know. It makes me emotional too. She pulled it out of me. She, she got absolutely I don't think that I knew I was an actress before that because yeah okay I had been modeling and hosting and doing commercials I had no idea if I was an actor or not I had no idea no idea until I walked in that class and it's be also because of you because oh, thank me and you, you and our friendship that that class was in my life and I'm seeking till this day I mean I haven't been searching that hard we're in the middle of a pandemic but for a teacher like her, because, wow, was she one of the biggest inspirations for me. That's so true. And I remember, I think I remember saying to you, I, I right, think I just you're super emotional over my acting. Coach. I know I want to be emotional too. And I'm, I'm just sorry. like, I can't, I can't do it. I knew you had it in you. I, cause I had been a part of that class and I've seen her pull that talent. I had seen her pull that talent out of people. How did you know though? We had only done modeling jobs. I just, together, showing oh, I love her shoes. Because and of you and who you are as a person and you're so real and you're so raw and you're so connected and invested emotionally um, that it's very hard to come by. I, I don't know. I think talent recognizes talent. Let me say that. When I think of you, your acting, I would compare it to someone of a Jessica Lang or a Meryl Streep, someone yeah, in like- Yeah, out right now. Don't- <laughs> No, but people haven't, I can say this because I've worked with you on screen or on camera and on screen. It was, it's been a privilege to act with you and 
so many people haven't even seen a tenth of what you can do. You have, you are out of all the people I've auditioned with or worked with, you have a very, very special talent. And I said, Meryl Streep, Jessica Lange, they're fa- because they bring an emotion and a depth that you bring. When you're wow. crying on camera, I'm not saying that because you're my best friend. When you're crying on camera, it is real. Now, granted, there are other really good actresses out there, but they fall in a more um, like Legally Blonde and things like that, which is more my, which is more what I naturally fall into, more of that role. You fall into a very good, strong, authentic character. And I knew I'm like, she's an actress come to this acting class and I knew it and I don't want to I don't want to like didn't even know like, I don't want to copy and like try to make it sound like I'm saying the exact same thing back to you but like 100 million percent just to sum it up like every character that you did in Marta's class like we worked on all the classic plays guys like Everything. Queen Elizabeth. We did Mary Queen of Scots. We Mary did Queen of Scots. Savage. This girl right here took on every character and just like blew you away. Oh. Time. Like you'd be like, that's Lexi. Lexi just pulled it off. Like I forget. There was one that you did, and I don't remember who it was with because my brain right now is not working fast enough. But you just like blew it out of the park, and it was so the opposite of like who you are. We could like, open a studio. Them. It was all of them, and that's like I think what also just like bonds us together because we have it some- does it is a special but I'm bond. so jealous that you got to take that class how many years longer than I was in it well I took it I took it so long I think I, I burned my brain out Woo. Yeah. The actress has it to have an emotional breakdown and I had a few in my career but it, oh. it happens we're all a little crazy and you know I wouldn't change it, it makes me who I am yeah I think Nicole Kidman I just saw a quote from her or something about we're all a little we're all a little you have to be a little mental to be an actor it's true. Bernard says, barn girl radiates niceness. She's going to open up a window and Disney animated butterflies are going to come say hello. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Remember when you came over, I think you were rehearsing and we had anxiety about something. I'm like, try this Peter Gillum's natural magnesium drink. <laughs> so Amber's coming over. <laughs> I think we had a lot of lines to memorize. You were doing Saints versus Scoundrels, something like that. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't remember exactly. And I'm like, try this natural calm drink. It'll calm you down. It's magnesium. Well, if anyone knows about magnesium, too much of that, and you're headed to the bathroom or you're going to fall over. Well, I didn't know. I had no idea. I just wanted to help her out. And so I gave her too much. She was driving home and her eyes went crossed and she lost her vision. <laughs> I had to pull over on the side of the road because I could no longer see because I was hooped up ODing on magnesium in like <laughs> magnesium calm drink. I can talk to you for hours. You know that? I know I can talk for hours too, but I think what we should circle back and rein in on yep. is if we could get people and tell me what you think about this to ask us what they would like to see next. Yes. What they would like to see next, whether a continuation of Sin Fronteras and how they think the storyline would unfold if they wanted to see more or a comedy or what, what, what do people want? What are they hungry for? Let's see if we can provide. <laughs> <laughs> people have no idea that aren't, you know, in the business, have no idea what goes on behind the scenes year after year, that even if you're not on TV and not on a TV show, like how much work you're actually are still People doing. are still working. Behind exactly. Everything serves a purpose. Every period in, in your life, whether it's a, a bad time or a good time or just a, you know, not too much going on, it's serving a purpose. It's, it's changing you and molding you for a reason to get you where you're supposed to be. That time that we were, we met in New York, then we ended up in California. Now I'm away from California. I didn't think that. Yeah. I, n- I never thought I would leave California. It's you're either ascending or descending. And I think, I, I think that any step forward is a step in that direction. Amen, sister. Amen. Amen. 
Thanks so much for tuning in. And you can also check out the film on youtube.com slash two girls, two minutes. And I want to thank you guys for joining us.